Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to F124 on the Steam Deck. This is on Steam OS, so let us try it out here. I've heard interesting things about this game. Handling model has been updated to become a drift simulator and regardless i'm excited to be attempting to try this on steam deck because f123 works so well right all right let us boot into windows all right after many windows updates we're back in microsoft 10 on the steam deck we're now launching F124 with many USB disconnect sounds and many command prompts opening, being reconnected and being disconnected and I hate Windows. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're finally in F124. Come on, come on. There we go. Finally in F124. And as a precursor, Digital Foundry posted a quick video describing this game functioning in console performance. So primarily Xbox Series S and X and PS5. And the main takeaways that Tom Morgan had was that the cinematics of this game were really the hard points. So whenever you see all these different facial kind of qualities and all these different people in cinematics, the frame rates would be severely plummeted but then when you finally get into the actual gameplay that it was a solid 60 fps you know ray tracing quality was only available in the replays and in, in cinematics but um and then also in the pre-race stuff but as soon as the car goes off there is only rasterization kind of graphics quality here and so the main thing that i wanted to discuss here is graphics and i'll do a quick uh showing of what everything is so motion blur on uh we are at 1280 by 800 vsync is auto it should, yeah actually we'll turn that off frame rate limit we'll post it down to 60 we shouldn't need anything more than that if i'm honest confirm uh, as far as this, this is pretty much as l whoops. This is as low as everything can go. So ray tracing quality is ironically medium, but we won't actually be able to use it. I won't go down the list here, but everything is uh, some clicking through. Everything is being turned off or low, and there we are. And the interesting point that was being made during the Digital Foundry video was that there was a lot of resolution scaling going on. I mean, for the most part, it was targeting the actual resolution. But there would be times where, like, if it would be in Monaco and, like, the rain would be on, that the resolution would be downscaled only by, like, 80%. So nothing, like, too severe. It wasn't, like, dropping by, like, 100 or 120% or something. Um, but in this situation here... I'm actually very surprised because I posted a video last year with F123 being run on the Steam Deck, and I was actually pleasantly surprised with how how well the game was running on Steam Deck Steam Deck back then, because I mean, back then it was just I was in a rainy Canada recent as uh, Sergio Perez and the Red Bull. And on low settings, it really didn't look too bad. Now, in this, I am scaling everything up to 1080p because that is the monitor or the TV that I'm using. So you can see all sorts of details and quality that are, I'm going to be honest, that are a little bit ugly. I mean, you can really see some of these pixels along the edges of the vehicles. And the lights, I mean, when you look at them, they're really pixelated up in there. But again, we're running 1280 by 800 here. So my thought process is, if you're using this in handheld mode, honestly, it wouldn't be too bad. Because even when you're scaling it up, I'm actually quite surprised. Because if we look at, for example, the edges of the wheels, 
they're actually not too bad. They're pretty smooth. I mean, yes, the graphic, the texture quality is absolutely horrific. And, <laughs> and it's just, you can really tell that it's not great looking. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, we are sitting at pretty much a almost completely stable like 60 frames per second i mean we are getting a couple of frame drops here and there i mean there's one for instance but to be quite honest coming into f124 with all the discussions that for example we'd be oh my goodness <laughs> With all the discussions that we've been having about, uh, for example, like the handling model, the handling no model not being great. I'll be honest, I'm on controller. It feels fine. Of course, I'm not on a wheel. I'm not doing anything of that kind of nature. I honestly could plug it in my wheel because we're running it on Windows. But I'm actually really enjoying myself. It's the, the higher frame rate target is really, really nice. The thing that I'm really struggling with is with uh, de novo being added, which is quite the difference from F123. At this moment, if you're looking for an F1 game to play on Steam Deck, natively on Steam OS, please just get F123. You're going to be able to get it on sale. You're going to be able to get pretty much 90% of the features, if not more, 95% of the features that you get with F124. It'll be more optimized because it's had like more time for updates to hit. It'll have a better handling model. And you won't have an anti-cheat engine that will prevent you from even loading it. And that is the big thing that I'm struggling with here is there is no good reason why EA had put in de novo other than the fact that they want the anti-cheat engine. Which to be fair, if I were in their position, I don't know. I would I look at anti-cheat programs definitely. But I'd also keep in mind like that there are better ways to about going about this because they've cut off the Steam Deck market in my mind pretty much completely in this in that one decision. Which as the Steam Deck is growing in popularity, more and more people are grabbing it, more and more people are playing games and wanting native support. And it's just going to ask, you know, the poor uh Valve developers to keep on working on Proton and Wine to get all those compatibility centers running. And it's kind of a struggle. But in all honesty, um, this is fine. If, if you have Steam Deck and you're running Windows on it, as you can tell here, surprisingly, honestly, surprisingly, this is very, 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 very functional. I've had to turn down the graphics to the absolute lowest that you can get it. So the thought process is, you can probably play with the graphics a little bit more than I did. Just as a standard with a Steam Deck, I just turn everything down to low if it's brand new AAA and see how it goes. And I'm very impressed about the high frame rate that Codemasters has been able to hit with this game. And yeah, like I said before, there are a number of critiques that I'll have because it's F124, the handling and the de novo and this, that, the other thing. But my thought is, in all, all honest opinion, if you're looking for an F1 game to play on Steam Deck, just go back to 23. If you really want to play the latest and greatest on Steam Deck, i got to be honest, how many people actually have Windows on their Steam Deck and play it regularly? I've got Windows on my Steam Deck, and this is probably the first time in six months that I've used the Windows side of it, because I'm just doing remote play through Steam OS, or just using it natively on Steam OS. So, I imagine those who have, like, for instance, the, Ro the ROG Ally, or, oh, what was it, the Legion Go? This game will probably run really well, and it'll run natively, and you won't have any issues with the uh, de novo. So, interesting. Very interesting. 
So yeah, if you guys um, enjoy the F1 series and want the latest and greatest, I would honestly recommend doing this on PC, doing Steam Remote Play, doing this with the ROG Ally or the Legion Go, or just going back to F123 if you really want native Steam Deck support. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to like, comment, uh, subscribe. Please let me know. Please let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys are thinking. If you guys agree or disagree with that, if you guys have found other ways of being able to get this game to run really well on uh, Steam OS or Steam Deck with Windows 10, uh, again, let me know all of your guys' opinions down in the comment section below. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.